I would like to compare and contrast strong field ligands and weak field ligands, especially as it applies to the absorbance of light, which then produces the colors we see of many of the um, metal ions, like copper is blue, copper 2 sulfate is blue, uh, nickel 3 is green, etc. So we would like to look at um, how the, the electron arrangement causes this splitting. You will remember that a ligand causes a split between the d orbitals of the metal ion. So these are the d orbitals that are occupied by the electrons of the metal ion. These are not the hybridized orbitals. With a strong field ligand, there is a huge influence between the metals of the d orbital, or the, the electrons of the d orbital of the metal ion, and the ligand. So let's say that we had two electrons on a particular, of a particular uh, metal ion. A strong field is, a ligand is going to cause a big crystal field split. So this is a CF crystal field splitting energy. And if we have a strong field ligand, there is a big split. Let's say we have that same arrangement, but we have a weak field ligand. You'll notice that the delta, the crystal field splitting energy, is less. Let's put those same two electrons here. Now we're not looking at uh, different arrangements of these electrons in this case. We're just looking at what a strong field ligand and weak field ligand, what does that do to the orbitals, whether there's electrons there or not. So a strong field ligand causes a larger split than a uh, weak field ligand. Um, an example of a strong field ligand would be a cyanide or carbon monoxide, a weak field ligand, chloride, fluoride. Those are some examples. Now what is going to happen? Well if we were to bring light in here, let's put a photon of light, that is going to excite the electron and if it is exactly at the right amount of energy that electron is going to be excited up to that level, up to the from the T2G orbital to an EG orbital. But you can see the light absorbed is going to be more than if we were over here with a weak field ligand. This electron would absorb less light. To be excited. So this could be, if we look at our color wheel, this, this would most likely be something like blue or violet, and that is what is absorbed. So what would you see? Well, in the case of blue, you would see orange. If it was violet, you would see yellow. But the point is that in order for, if we were sending white light through, it would be the blue or the violet that's absorbed because it has to um, have a, a greater amount of energy to jump up than this electron from a weak field uh, that's influenced by a weak field ligand. So this jump is greater. It requires an a photon of greater energy. 
So it would absorb blue or violet and you would see orange or yellow. In this other case, the energy jump is smaller. So what would be absorbed? Well, in that case, let's say that red or orange is absorbed. So you would, if, if red was absorbed, again, a smaller jump that requires less, a photon of less energy or a longer wavelength, you would see green. And if it was orange, you would see blue. So in the case of a strong field ligand, there's a larger crystal field split. In the case of a weak field ligand, there is a smaller crystal field split. In the case of a strong field ligand, more energy must be absorbed to promote an electron from T2G to EG level. Over here, we would have less energy absorbed to promote electron from T to G to EG level. So that means a longer wavelength is absorbed. And over here, a shorter wavelength is absorbed. 